Hey, what's going on everyone? Nick here with a bit of sad news uh, for the Batman film. So it is confirmed 100% from Variety and Warner Brothers and Ben Affleck themselves that Ben Affleck will not be directing the solo Batman movie. He has decided to step down as director of the Batman and just remain on the project as producer and of course star. Sources close to the talent said Affleck and Warner Brothers discussed how to make the best film possible and this was the best decision both parties came to. Ben Affleck said in an official statement, quote, there are certain characters who hold a special place in the hearts of millions. Performing this role demands focus, passion, and the very best performance I can give. It has become clear that I cannot do both jobs to the level they require. Together with the studio, I have decided to find a partner and a director who will collaborate with me on this massive film. I am still in this, and we are making it, but we are currently looking for a director. I remain extremely committed to this project and look forward to bringing this to life for fans around the world. Ben Affleck, of course, has completed his work as the Cape Crusader in Justice League, which opens November 17th, and he was preparing to go into prep on the solo Batman movie this summer. Affleck co-wrote the script with comics guru Jeff John. So, of course, this is news that I honestly saw coming because I have been reporting a lot about, you know, Ben Affleck going back and forth on this movie, uh, it being delayed, and uh, just a lot of general problems this film has been having behind the scenes, which is very surprising and troubling to me because uh, I honestly thought this was going to be the best DC film they put out because of Ben Affleck's track record Then I recently saw Live by Night, and uh, a lot of the bad press that movie has gotten, of course, it's going to lose uh, Warner Brothers $75 million, which is a colossal failure of... Uh, both critically and financially, unfortunately, because I'm a big Ben Affleck fan. I really enjoyed his work. Uh, his first two films he directed, Argo, I wasn't huge on, uh, and then, you know, of course, The Town and Gone Be Be Gone are amazing, and I was really hoping that he would bring that kind of street-level uh, style to his Batman film, but it just seems like a lot of things are kind of going against him at this point. He has a lot of doubt, it seems, a lot of hesitation about this project. Of course, after the very uh, bad reception to Batman v Superman, then Suicide Squad, and just the general general negativity surrounding the DCEU, it seems like he's really trying to step away uh, further and further from this universe because of all the negative press he's gotten for that, and then of course, like I mentioned, Live by Night, put another burden on him, and then just the growing tension and pressure that he had for directing a new Batman movie. I mean, everyone is looking at him, like all eyes are on this guy to perform and to produce an amazing film, and you know, that would just put a lot of stress on anyone. I mean, anybody in that position would have a tough time, so honestly, I am very nervous and worried about this movie, uh, unless they can get a director of a uh, high caliber to helm this movie, I'm very much not looking forward to it at this point. So anyways, let me know down in the comment section below, did you guys see this coming and what are your thoughts on the movie going forward now that Ben Affleck is not going to be behind the camera? We'll be definitely talking about it more on Super Friends this week. My name is Nick and I'll catch you guys next time.